Hello everyone, thanks for watching. My name is Tian Yini. I'm an AMA graduate student. In this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to type IPA in your Windows operating system. First thing first, what is IPA? Basically, what you can see to your right hand side is an IPA transcript letter. That is IPA. IPA is short for International Phonetic Alphabet. It is a writing system and it is based primarily on Latin script. And of course, it is not 100% based on Latin script. And you can see a lot of letters. They seem to be very familiar, but you don't know how to pronounce that. The reason why we need IPA is because the writing system we are currently using every day has a lot of limitations. First, we cannot distinguish the accents just based on the writing system we're using every day. For example, let's think about water, W-A-T-E-R in world Englishes. Basically, in general American accent, it is water. However, in Europe, some people might say water. And also in South Asia, for example, like India, people might say water. No matter how you pronounce water, this word, W-A-T-E-R, it always maintain W-A-T-E-R. You cannot get any information or knowledge from water, the smelling, on how to pronounce that or what kind of accent you have. That's why IPA comes out. And IPA gives you how to pronounce a word in an accent. Second, the writing system is actually not friendly for new language learners. Let's see a sentence. This sentence over here is crochet. The meaning of that is, I want to drink water. We basically cannot borrow any pronunciation or how to pronounce it from the English translation, unless you know how to pronounce this language. The shortcoming of writing system is here. Even though you have writing system, even though you have the sentence here, you still don't know how to pronounce that. After that, people might ask a question, how about the language without writing systems? That's a very good question because now we are actually facing a lot of situation where the language we are studying or the language we really care about or even our mother tongue that do not have any writing system. For example, those language of Native American and also the native languages all around the world. Then how do we study them? We can basically use IPA to know how to pronounce that and also IPA can play a role of a temporary writing system for those languages. Now the question is, how to type it? The easiest way for us to type IPA in any machine, including Windows computer or MacBook, is go to this website. It is called ipatypet.org. And basically, you can find any, letter that, any letters that you want to type. First, you need to pick it and copy paste to the text you are writing and change the font style. However, people might think it is too complicated because you have so many steps to do. Now a new question comes out. Can we use our keyboard to type IPA into our machine? The answer is obviously yes. Now let's turn to how to type IPA in your Windows computer from our keyboard. First, you need to type IPA Unicode Keyboard Windows in Google. Google will tell you what kind of content may be useful. And you can see the first one is related to SIL. SIL is the one that is related to linguistic fieldwork. Basically, we have totally different kinds of options for us to use IPA Unicode keyboard. Some of them are non-SIL related, but the rest of them are all related. Let's just pick the first one as an example. Once you enter it, and you can see there is a link on the top. Pick that one. Now we can have a new page. On this page, we can see two options. One is IPA SIL for Windows on the bottom. The other one is IPA plus Keyman Desktop. In order to download the bottom one, you need to have Keyman Desktop first. So let's just pick the first one to 
download both items together. Once you have it, now we can run it. Now you can see a new window, Install Keyman Desktop. After you install it, you can see there are three buttons there. You can click the first one, Start Keyman. After you successfully have it, now we can see you have this kind of option which is called UND as well as the Keyman on your toolbar on the bottom. Click it and you can turn it on. Also, there is a button next to it and you can see two kind of things. One is Help, the other is Configuration and you can see the other options. Now let's go back to help. Let's pick the help on IPA. Here you have a new handout telling you how to type the IPA alphabet. Typing your IPA alphabet is not as difficult as you imagine. As long as you follow the instruction on this menu and you can type those letters as easy as you want and also as easy as you can. For example, if you want to type the retroflex plus if voiceless consonant, all you need to do is to touch three keys. One is T, the other is shift and comma. Now let's do it. First you have T and shift and comma. There we go. Now let's see the family of N nasals. First you have N, and then N, shift, comma. Next is N, and equal. Last one is N, and period. 